Hey guys, Thales here and in this tutorial is more like a training section we will recreate the shooter tech demo that we developed just to find out if we could improve um, the workflow of the shooter template so yeah, I download this warehouse here from the asset store it's a free package it's pretty cool it's not exactly like this I already changed uh, a couple of things like the floor texture the uh, colliders the tags I already pre set up the scene for the shooter so we can shot at this stuff and it will trigger the correct particle and uh, yeah I also download these bodyguards <coughs> they are free and you can find them at the asset store just find a uh, search for bodyguards I have download some zombies from the Mixamos website uh, so first thing is to check our um, characters let's see if they all match this size and um, oh we can see here that this model is way off size so let's make sure it's humanoid and uh, scale factor always change the character using the scale factor of the FBX model because if you change um, the character here by scaling it will cause a lot of bugs later on when you add a ragdoll or you need a better collision and so let's go back to zero to scale one and use this scale factor to fix this okay cool now that we check our models are correct we can uh, I actually have a, a quick list here of what the things that we will uh, do in this tutorial we just verify the character model sizes and check if the that they are humanoid we will check the animation settings now uh, after that we will create our character, change the locomotion type uh, add a ragdoll and set up the colliders add the footstep system and set up new textures add a, the item manager set up weapon, weapons default key points and the offset IK for our new character then once the character controller is done we will move to the AI we will create a zombie behavior so I download some new animations from examples we will create new animators and add those animations create the AI set up the red doll set up the uh, zombie behavior there are several options that we will change like zombies don't roll zombies um, at least for me zombies don't run <laughs> apparently these days they are running and then we will create waypoints so our zombies can walk around okay let's take a look here and check our new animations it, it's here I download some uh, mix some animations make sure that we use the animation type humanoid and check the avatar um, okay then add the animation we need to make it the basic stuff here like uh, if it's a walking animation it's a cycle then we need to check the loop pose it's also cool that we check the bake into position because if you look at the blue arrow here if I uncheck the character the, the character will just walk um, not straight okay so make sure you check those things 
Um, I have some pretty cool animations here. Some of those we were you we will use another not so much so let's go ahead and create our bodyguard okay vector shooter shooter controller okay we want uh, let's see here this one yeah um, let's and this tutorial will be a shooter only so uh, I will do another de tech demo to show the shooter melee but this one let's go with the shooter only uh, shooter only camera state let's hit create and here it is our character let's put him here cool now Let's add a ragdoll. All oh, right. First, let's change the locomotion type. I want this to be only strafe. I will s show you the difference for you guys. Uh, the difference is that we have we have a free locomotion. You can see that I can rotate the character freely. Yeah. And uh, if I change to on strafe now my character uh, if I press backwards he will walk backwards he will walk like the character will always aim forward and if I change the I can rotate by rotating the camera but the character will always remain forward okay in this case I want my character to um, I want my character to run instead of walking so if I hit play now my character will run just to, to have a more faster movement for this example when creating a shooter controller you, you, the character will receive a shooter manager an ammo manager and the head track system so we can aim up or down uh, those are the default components required by the shooter so let's add a ragdoll now yeah hit create and we see that we have a couple of issues with this character don't know why but maybe it's the rig settings well let's start with the head Now that our ragdoll is, mm, the chest is a little off too, so neck, spine, here, let's make this a little bigger, yep, okay, pretty cool, that should do. Uh, Another thing is that we need to set the these layers down here as body parts. Otherwise, if we have, a, for example, we don't have just yet the shooter AI, but when we do, we need to set the ragdoll colliders as body parts, so we can shot at him and not the main capsule collider get it the main capsule collider should be the layer player but the bullet will actually pass right through the layer player and it will find the layer body parts so we can add individually uh, body parts that damage okay we also need to check the Disable colliders. We need the, the, those enable. We need those uh, colliders enable. Otherwise, the, the bullet will pass right through the all the colliders. 
now we will create a footstep add a footstep into your player you will see that it will generate these two uh, sphere colliders at your foot you can bring those a little up right about here yeah I think that's that's fine uh, let's see here um, let me bring this down yep now we don't have a default footstep so let's take one I usually use the default surface on the tech demos on the demo scenes of the template but in this case I want gravel because it's it sounds better in this in this scene we have gravel here as the default surface how this how that this works uh, the default surface will play on any surface any surface at all if we uh, add a custom surface like the for example we want a custom surface when he he touch uh, the stairs and this metal part uh, let's add a metal surface here uh, and we see that this audio surface use texture or materials names uh, to play here is the metal audio clips that we already set up uh, if you want particle effects when you hit this uh, you can just drag and drop the particle effects here um, so let's add a texture here let's take a look in here it's the catwalk catwalk metal so let's find our metal and add this one and here is the steps one steps uh, let's go here in metal add one more and steps uh, I know that we have another stair run here that uses steps two let me fine here yes steps two metal add one more and steps okay so let's test this um, let me put my scene here audio mixer okay let's take a look if this works we have a gravel working and now metal cool perfect um, I noticed that my character is a little he walks through the, the this ramp here a little uh, slow so let me change my steps move something like eight let's see if it's better yeah yeah way better way better cool now let's add another a material for wood uh, we can see that we don't have a wood surface here so what you can do is go to Invector resources and new outdoor surface let's put here wood and um, let me bring things down here yeah actually this is a something that it's new it's it's for on our new project it doesn't have by default so everything you you create that is new 
you should put in your into your projects folder and not the templates folder because um, when you need to update the template you will delete the Invectors folder and keep your stuff here your all your prefabs like this shooter here I can drag into here and if I make a update into the into the template I I will have my character save here okay so let's make a audio surface here and keep this here okay uh, let's add a what what is this called is crate zero one okay uh, oops is here crate zero one and this box here is also also using the crate oh oh yeah I see okay so now what we do is uh, we need a audio mixer we already have one here uh, but we need to create another yep another uh, as a child yep wood it's around here and then we go to our wood surface and select wood okay the audio surface you can find um, here audio surface and yeah if you want to trigger a particle you can put it here and in here we will add the audio file so lo let's lock this and find our audio files I know that I put mine here you can drag and drop your audio files here and it will be set up okay so let's test this by going to our character and add another custom surface and let's select our wood let me put wood surface and let's see if this works yep we have wood wood audio cool now that we do most of this thing this stuff we will add a item manager into our character, set up the weapons default key point and offset IK so that we have line weapons into our new character. Cool. Go to Invector sh Shooter No. Go to Invector Inventory Item Manager. And here we go to uh, Inventory. We will use the shooter inventory in this case and the list data is the shooter melee hit create and we will have here um, let's filter shooter and ammo not that we will need this right now because I already set up uh, several collectibles into the scene and we can collect those as we play uh, okay hit play and we don't have anything right now let's pick up this weapon right here and equip yep now let's go into our shooter manager lock the camera lock the aiming and actually let me change to this mode um, yep not working <laughs> let's take the default equip point of her weapon and um, rotate a little bit so we can have the correct uh, height let's take this global 
we want local. Uh, on the other side, okay. Okay, in here too. Cool. Now we rotate the weapon. Let's see. Okay, let's bring the weapon to the correct position, something like this should be fine, yep, something like this, let's copy the component, paste the component, now we hit play again, Keep the weapon, I keep the weapon, go into the shooter manager, lock, yep, it's cool. Now we will fix the IK hand, that, and nope, yep, zero, zero, two, cool works uh, let's copy the component here don't forget that we are not using always aiming so when we pass here the values you need to uncheck the always aim okay uh, let's take another look to see if it's really correct really aligned here uh, I think that it could be could be a little uh, more like this yep that's perfect copy the component paste the component now let's take a look into other weapons if this uh, fix those as well cool it's pretty good huh yep this one here is a little bit off but overall it's good cool now that we set up our default key point and offset IK our main character is ready to go now well, let's take a look into our zombies yep our zombies well, first thing is that uh, we don't have a shooter AI just yet. So that's why we are using zombies instead of, I don't know, soldiers or, or uh, thieves. And so let's take our melee combat animator, duplicate it and drag it outside the project and change to tap demo zombie a uh, let's put the, that into our animator here vector melee combat create melee controller and let's take our first copy zombie right here pretty cool zombie by the way Samus has some great models. Um, let's find our Tech Demon Zombie AI. And oh, I'm actually <laughs> creating a character. <laughs> it's a NPC that we want. Enemy AI. Um, FBX Zombie and Tech Demo Zombie AI. It create 
and okay first thing let's adjust the size of this this thing here radius is 0.3 cool and this one is 0 0.9 0 0.3 1.8 okay it's good now let's make a few modifications here such as strafe zombies don't strafe he he just walks uh, straight at you so let's uncheck those um, best damage and graphics Zombies are aggressive at first sight, so that's okay. First attack delay. Hmm. I guess not. We have a pretty slow attack animation, anyways. Uh, let's put. Um, okay, chance to roll definitely not. Uh, zombies don't roll, and neither they block. So let's uncheck those. Okay, that's good for now. Let's change our animations. So we want a different locomotion for this one. Uh, let's see here, unarmed, walk, idle. Okay, the idle animation uh, definitely needs to change. We have here some animations that we download from Mixamo so let's change our idle here don't forget to change on both free locomotion and strafe locomotion because the AI walks freely but when he, he is close enough to punch you uh, he will enter the strafe locomotion so let's change on both both states okay cool uh, walk uh, let's take this drunk walk here let me see uh, yep pretty cool drunk walk and run I don't think I will make a zombie that runs let's keep him that way uh, walks uh, trunk walk right cool now the attack weak attack we don't need those the sword thing just an arm uh, let's change the punch left to a attack because well zombies don't punch they use their arms to kind of tear you down okay let's take a look here it's about uh, 0.3 to 0.5 5 cool and the second attack will be a bite neck bite neck bite the neck bite it's point twenty three point point two two point sixty five to two point six five cool we don't need a kick just a couple of attacks it's fine for now uh, cool what else what else I will patrol a chase I will keep at zero five so he can't run he will always he will always walk well, let's test it, but before we hit play, I know you are anxious to hit play, we need to bake our scene. The scene is already baked because 
I was using it before but don't forget to bake this scene okay uh, it's very important for the AI to work otherwise he will just be standing there okay now that we created our enemy we set up a zombie behavior like and replace the some animations like the attack and other stuff uh, by the way we don't have yet a melee manager so uh, our zombie will follow us but it will not attack us but first let's uh, make our character uh, applies damage into the to the zombie and what I'm going to do is first uh, add a weapon to my character so it's easier I can hit play and I keep weapon when tested and uh, let's see what we have here is a clean NPC that we just created we set up the the, the behavior right here but it doesn't have any other components like footstep and ragdoll and the melee manager and let's first test this as doing damage at the actual capsule collider let's say that you're doing a mobile game and you don't want a ragdoll or any other colliders you want really uh, boost your performance so that's the, the, the right path for a mobile game uh, using only the the capsule collider as to apply damage so uh, our character or our enemy when we create it is using the tag enemy and the layer enemy so we go to the shooter manager and the aim target layer is the layer that our aim to every weapon will hit and we need to hit this collider called enemy so uh, we go here and add the enemy layer right let's test this and see if the damage will be applied oh you can see that the damage was applied the AI is dead okay cool but uh, of course that we want a more precise um, way to do damage so the best way to do that is as always add the ragdoll first then other components because if you add the melee manager uh, first it will create the hitbox and when you add the ragdoll uh, maybe your hitbox can disappear so let's add the ragdoll here at basic locomotion components ragdoll hit create and of course that the ragdoll wizard will create the colliders for you but it will not be exactly what you need for your model so we we, we will need to adjust some colliders to better fit our character mesh like the head for example Okay, cool. Now that we have our ragdoll colliders, uh, we want to add another layer into these colliders, all, the, all of these colliders, because uh, if you if you use the, the layer enemy, um, the bullet will actually never hit those inside colliders. It will stop at the main capsule collider so let's change that to the layer body part and make sure to include all the children's so that we can have all set up as body part and the main collider will continue to be enemy so we will change uh, right here at our player the shooter manager we will change the enemy remove 
and at the body parts. So the, our bullets will actually uh, pass right through the main capsule collider and will hit only the body parts colliders, which is exactly what we want. Let's take a look. For example, his um, doesn't look like is all right. Uh, another important thing is that we uncheck the disable colliders because we want those colliders enabled, so it so our aim can actually hit the colliders. Let's take a look again. Yeah, now we're talking. You can see that I can aim at his leg, but I can shot right through the, the leg space, which was not possible uh, if I was using the main capsule collider. Now it's really precise. precise. Yep. Another cool thing is that we can add a damage particle. When the shot hit, we can trigger a blood splash. Also, we can uh, add this component to the player because it's the same process. Best components, yep. Blood splash, let's take a look. Now I can shot and a particle of blood will trigger. Cool. Okay, um, now let's make our zombie uh, applies damage into our character. And for that we need a melee manager. Remember to add the regular first, then the melee manager. Components, melee manager. You see that when we add a melee manager, this little hitbox is uh, automatically created for you. Uh, it's actually a little uh, small, so let's make it a little bigger. Cool. Right, uh, we add the melee manager and make sure that who you can hit, you need to uh, change the damage tags. We don't want to, to take damage into the enemy, we want to take damage to the player, right? Let's take a look and see if my character will take any damage. Yep, exactly right. Cool. Oh, no, 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 sir. All right, now let's create a waypoint so that our AI can walk around. Let's go into really combat, components, new waypoint area. Here it's our new waypoint area. And before I enter, enter the, in, the edit mode, uh, let's show the hotkeys. Here you see the shift plus left click, create a new waypoint, Chrome. control plus a left click, create new patrol point to select a waypoint. Okay, that's pretty much all we need to know. Let's go to enter mode and shift click here. That's a waypoint, we could uh, make a patron point, like so. Uh, this, and if it's not on the nav mesh, it will accuse, like this. Cool. Uh, we don't need patrol points, actually, so if we hit a shift plus uh, right click, we can reassign this 
uh, and shift left click it's another uh, we can go here we can go here and well etc now we will edit the edit the editing mode and uh, select your AI here we will assign this waypoint and we can check random waypoints if you want uh, also, also you could like have the time to stay like one second to each waypoint you could create petrol points on that waypoint and select as random petrol point as well uh, let's test this and see if our AI walks around and here we go yep it's working okay so the only thing left to customize here is the weapon I download I download a weapon model here all right so there there is basically two ways to create a weapon you could uh, go to your shooter create shooter weapon and all the necessary components will be attached here but then you will need to manually uh, position everything and it's kind of a pain, pain in the ass so I think it's, it's best if we pick up a prefab like this is a rifle right and we already have a pretty cool rifle here it's the sight rifle uh, let me drag here cool so uh, basically we just need to replace the model so drag and drop the model here let's uh, scale down a little bit since this is a pretty standard 3D model 3D model you can just use this scale but never use for uh, characters like I'd say it, it will only cause some some issues that you don't want okay it's pretty close I think it could be a little more like this yep cool so we pick up all the content inside the render and drag and drop into our new weapon let's replace this to render and delete the old weapon okay now we rename this to AK74 and save at our prefabs folder cool now we go into our item manage item manager open the list and we will replace the site the original site rifle with our AK 74R if you create a new item you can also uh, add a and customize everything or just duplicate from here so let's try let's try our new rifle cool now lock here and now that we replace the model we need to change the align the transform position rotation of the model and not 
the default key point because the default key point is already is already aligned for all the other weapons. So in this case, we just need to change a little bit the actual model. I think that this is actually fine. Uh, let's save this. Put into our renderer. I don't need this component here. Uh, now we will change the IK of the weapon, not the offset of the character. Lock here and select the IK. Okay, I think it's pretty good here. Yep, let's copy component, paste into the left IK of the weapon. Yep, cool. Now, another thing, we want a different scope view. Uh, let's try a uh, good one for this is the zero, maybe. Let's try the zero. Oh, I forgot to apply the changes. Okay. Uh, let's take a look here. Cool. This is actually... <laughs> yep totally first person view. I think it, it, it could be better. It could be like a really first person kind of sh Just follow me on this one. Uh, let's go into our scope target and uh, go a little this way. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Just like a First person shooter uh, based here. Am I going too fast? Sometimes people people comment that I am going that I made the tutorials really fast, but I know it's just the way that I it's just the, the, the way that I do. Oh look at that. That's that is a beautiful first person shooter uh, what what do you think guys and third person and first person and third person <laughs> pretty cool huh i hope you guys like this tutorial and uh i'll see you on the next one